In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the easiest and fastest way to book cheap flights using Google Flights. And the best news of all, this video is not going to talk about any VPNs, any incognito mode browsers, or waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning to check flight prices. I know a lot of videos on YouTube are promoting these methods. I personally don't like them because they're too complicated. They're not easy. They're not fast. So I'm going to show you the best methods to get cheap flights. And the best news of all, if you stick around to the very end, I'm going to have a top secret trick. So give this video a thumbs up. Let me jump on my computer and let's get right into it. Once you're on your computer, I want you to go to google.com and type in flights. Once you type it in, I want you to click the top search result. After you click that, you're going to be loaded into the Google Flights dashboard. Now I want you to type in whatever airport you normally fly out of on here. Mine is Toronto, so I'm using that for this example. Once you type in your airport, click explore. Once you hit explore, you're going to be loaded with a map and this is going to be showing you the cheapest prices within the next six months. So if I want to fly to any of these cities within the next six months, these are the cheapest prices possible. Now it's not just limited to US and Canada. You can actually zoom out and go around the whole world and see how much it would cost to go anywhere in the world. For example, in the next six months, if I want to go to Rome, it would cost $800. I see it there. London, $489. A lot of good deals you can view within the next six months using this tool and it shows you the dates right there at the top january 21st to 30th and it'll be of tap airlines total price 489 great deal if you want to fly to london within the next six months now zooming out even farther you can see there's so many options you can go anywhere in the world vancouver is usually a pretty pricey flight sometimes but right now prices are low if I want to go from March 1st to March 7th, it would cost me $122 on Flair Airlines. Not a bad deal. Now, we can play around with these filters and change it a bit more. So let's just say you want to go on a guys or girls weekend. Those are very popular in, uh, let's say, February. And let's say just for the weekend, since it is a guys or girls trip. And let's see the results that loads up. So right here on the map, right away, I can see there's a lot of options to go for a weekend. The other ones are too far, but let's just say we're flying out of the U.S. or Canada. Miami looks like a possible good deal, $195 from Toronto, which is a good price. It says prices are currently low, and it would be from February 8th to February 12th. So that would be a good weekend to go for our trip, and it would cost $195 on Flair. What a great deal. Now let's do another example. Let's say for this guys or girls weekend, you know where you want to go. You want to go to Dallas, Texas. So I'm going to type in Dallas, Texas. And this is going to show me the cheapest weekend in February to fly to Dallas, Texas. So this is February 15th to 18th using Air Canada, $677. Now let's just say you're super flexible about when you can go in the next six months. You can change the filter to all. And it's actually going to search for the best price for any weekend in the next six months. It's saying December 28th to 31st, 677 So it's the same price as in February, but still a good deal for going to Dallas, Texas. So the method I just showed you is very useful if you're extremely flexible of which city you're going to and your dates. But if you actually know which city you want to go to, the next method I'm going to show you is going to be really helpful for finding the best price to fly to that city. So for this next example, let's just say 100% you know you want to fly from Toronto to Boston. So type in Toronto to Boston, and once you're done that, click over here where it says Departure, and it's going to load up prices for you for the next coming months, which you can browse through and find the best deal possible. So it looks like in November and December has way cheaper prices than currently in October, and you can tell which prices are cheaper because they're highlighted in green. So you're going to be want to be selecting one of the prices that are in green. And once you go to April and May, it looks like these are higher prices. So the best deals right now are February, January, December. But let's just say for the sake of this video, I want to go to Boston February 8th to 15th. I'm going to hit search and I can see the price is 388 with Air Canada, which is actually a really good deal. So you're going to want to pay close attention to this next tip that I'm going to share with you. Not a lot of YouTubers on YouTube are sharing this tip with their audience for how to find cheap flights. It's going to completely automate this process and make it way easier for you to find cheap flights. So if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. So one of the best tips is to go up to the top if you know your dates for sure and click track prices. So it's going to track the price from February 8th to 15th. And if the price goes up or the price goes down, I'm going to get an email alert. 24 7 now there's also the any dates option if you select that it'll let you know if the price goes up or down for any dates within the next year very valuable too 
And another great tool to use when you're using Google Flights is this price history checker. So it will actually tell you if it's a typical price, if it's expensive, or if it's cheap. And you can actually view the complete price history of the last 50 days. You can read the chart and figure out if it's a good time to book, if you should wait. Right now it looks like it's a good price to book because the price is lower than it has been in the past 50 days. So as I said earlier in the video, you can track any dates and get notifications. So I'm just going to click that and this will let me know Toronto to Boston, the price changes for any dates. And if it's a good time to book, maybe I'll jump on it. So next I'm going to show you the price graph and date grid. These are two kind of cool features because they show you the same data that you can see on Google Flights, but it shows you in a different visual way. So here you can view all the flight prices for the coming dates in the future. And it's just a different way of reading the data that Google gives you. Now over here at the date chart, you can see it shows you the return flight at the side and the departure at the top. It's just a really good way to read the same data Google Flights gives you, but in a more organized fashion. Okay, so as promised in the beginning of the video, if you stuck around to the end, I have another cool secret trick to get cheap flights that no one's talking about on YouTube. I'm going to teach you that trick right now, but before I show it to you, I want to know where you want to travel to, where you want to book that cheap flight to. So write a comment down below what city you're looking to get a cheap flight to because I'm curious where my subscribers want to go. Now heading back on Google, you're going to want to go to Google and type in going.com. Once you type in going.com, you're going to want to click the top link and once it loads up, you're on the website, you're going to be here. You're going to want to click where it says get cheap flight alerts. Now to explain going.com to you, it's a website where you sign up and you put in your home airport. Let's just say your home airport is JFK, you type in JFK. And when there's deals at JFK for flights, they're going to send you an email and show you what city you can fly to for cheap from JFK. Obviously your dates are going to need to be flexible, but it's really good if you're open to any dates. And you can see some of the deals here people have been able to get. Baltimore to Paris for 260 that's a great deal. So to sign up, it's free. You're going to want to click where it says get cheap flight alerts. And then you're going to want to click continue at the bottom. After you click that, you'll be brought to the next page. And they're going to show you deals that people have gotten recently. Again, this is show you Rome, Italy for 469 Hit continue. And you're going to want to type in your home airport. Now this only works for U.S. cities. So I'm going to type in Buffalo since that's the closest airport to me in the U.S. And you can type in up to five other airports. Here you can select what destinations you want deals on. Think about where you want to go. I'm going to select Italy and London because I want to travel to there. But they will also send you deals on other cities you didn't select, so don't worry about that. Now it's going to ask you if you want to sign up for a plan. Just hit at the top, stay limited. It's completely free, and I recommend using that plan over a paid plan, at least right now. And just hit skip again at the top. And there you go. You're all signed up, ready to receive flight deals for your airport near you. It's showing me the latest deal from Buffalo is Lisbon, Portugal for $5.35. That is a pretty awesome deal, I must say. Now, if you're a Canadian, don't get discouraged. There is another website I want to show you. It's called yyzdeals.com. They have it for all the airports in Canada. Go to there, go to the top, click sign up for alerts. Type in your name and email and hit sign up. And you will get email deals similar to going.com sent to your email from whatever airport you select. So I get the emails all the time. Belize to Toronto, 421. Lisbon, Portugal, 544 Canadian round trip. Other cities in France, 537. Great deals sent to your email all the time. I recommend it. They even have a blog section where you can read up on these deals. And there you go. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope it brought you tons of value. I hope you know now how to book the cheapest flight. I told you it's going to be quick and painless. No VPNs, no incognito mode, no 3 a.m. waking up and checking prices. These are very easy, simple, automated methods to get cheap flights sent to you 24-7. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There'll be more videos like this coming up soon. So if all that said, what are you waiting for? Go book your cheap flights and I'll see you in the next video.